Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time we entered the Dragon Roost Cavern, as you see here, and I had some difficulty once I got most of the way through it in being able to do a basic swinging puzzle. So, because I save and quitted, this actually puts me back here at the beginning of the dungeon, which you might think to yourself is bad. But, it's actually beneficial in this case for multiple reasons. I'm going to show you some interesting things that I didn't think about. First off, by using your grappling hook on these bokoblins here, you can grab yourself a joy pendant. Can you please stop? I think they each give you one. Maybe. It definitely stuns them at least. Okay, I've had enough of you. You've already given me your goodies. Give me yours, there we go. So. We're actually doing pretty well on Joy Pendants. I'm not 100% sure how much we have, but I want to say it is now... I mean, we could just check, right? Look into our sack, our spoils bag. We have nine. That's pretty good. I think the requested amount is 20. I thought it was 25, but I believe it's actually 20. Um, so one of the things that I talked about is getting some pot. It is now legal. If you pop in here, it'll actually take you to the area in the dungeon where we were kind of struggling with, but I don't want to do that just yet. We'll come back to this. I'm going to head into the large lava room here in a second. You'll see why. This is not the large lava room, is it? Does this lead me to that? I don't remember. I know that's where I want to go. Uh, is this what I was trying to do? Hold on a second. Viewers, just be patient with me for a second. I'm being a big old dingus. Is this not how I... Oh, wait, this is the... Oh, I took the pot twice. So they're connected in a series of channels that when you take them... It's sequential. So we'll come back to that. Actually, there's a little bit of a little treasure that I didn't get that you can get now that you have um, the grappling hook. Easily missable. And if you come this way, huh? Look at this. Not something I would have thought about. Okay, it'd be great if I could hit the right button. There we go. Coming this way, actually. Nets you a little sneaky sneaky. I honestly really wasn't too far away from being able to beat off this dungeon in one go. I was probably maybe about five minutes away. But this is a treasure chart. We'll see what that leads to eventually. I don't know exactly. I would imagine probably a piece of heart or something like that, or money. Money, money, money. So we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and retrace our steps one last time. I got very confused by the pot dynamic, as it typically does when you're under the influence. So we're going to try that again. Now, using the warp system. Oops. Now, actually, I, wait, hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Can I get another... Ooh, I wonder if I could get another uh, joy pen from these guys. Ooh, I can. Nice. Okay, I don't want your, your lunch money. No, I don't want to kill this one. Yeah, okay, okay. We'll take it. I'm not trying to farm them off of it or anything. This was just an experiment. I'd rather get them the old-fashioned way. I think everybody can appreciate a gold old-fashioned. Okay. And hopping in it again completes the circuit. I forgot that there were three of them. So here we go. And in this room, this is the one that you can't cross until you have the grappling hook. Nope. Unlike the previous areas where you had... The nice big jugs of water. I don't have those here. So I wonder what happens if I use this on you. Do I get anything from you? Show me your face. Boop. Oh, it just stuns you. Okay. Yeah, how about you get out of there? All right. So something that I am going to want to do. We do have the boss key, so we can proceed. But I want to get a little help. Here we go. 
That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Is there one in here? No? Okay. I am absolutely just botching this. If you can see what I'm trying to do. Is there one in here? There is not. Okay, I'm probably gonna save and quit. Not save and quit. Re I mean, I get a ton of joy pendants, just unintentionally. Well, semi-unintentionally. All right, we're gonna pop out. We're gonna pop lock and drop it. Exit this room and then come back in. Hopefully it resets the fairy spawn. That's what you could tell was coming out of those pots. Do I need it? Probably. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I I don't know what I'm doing. So, and I don't remember what the boss of this area is. I've got a good feeling it's probably similar to those weird little scorpion guys here. Probably some sort of like a larger version of it. All right, let's go ahead and break this somewhere where I can actually give myself a little bit of distance. To there we go. Okay, very nice. Hooray for slavery! Okay, here we go. Oh, it looks so sad, as it should. Okay, so now that we do have the boss key, let's go ahead and give it a go. The first boss of the game, besides Grandma. Viewers, are you ready for this? You feeling good? Looks pretty ominous. Oh, well, there's his tail just hanging around. Probably not very comfortable with all those spaghettios underneath. Maybe that's why he's upset. I want the meatballs! There couldn't be something in this lava, right? Oh, there is! Ha! <laughs> Surprise! Viewers, it's terrifying! Hooray! Okay, this is, uh... The Magma Goma. I believe that's what this is called. Okay, cool. I would like to get away from you. I think we... Okay, I think I was actually supposed to stand in there for a second. I did not do that. Get your, uh, whoop. Oh, let's jump out of the way. Ooh. Okay, very cool and fun. I'm on fire now. Not 100%. Oh, okay. That's pretty rude. I thought that that would be what would make sense to do is to... Oof. I'm just getting my... My poop pushed in right now. I'm doing very poorly. I thought that, that would make sense, right? I'm just gonna keep running around here. I'm just gonna bring it around town. You can't hurt me if I'm doing this, right? Okay. Alright, so I'm thinking... Maybe we, I gotta wait for this boy to get stuck. I don't know how to get up anywhere higher, though. Is there any way to do that? Ooh, wait, it's giving me- it's giving me a little trigger! I'm triggered! Get off me. Hold on. Wait. Okay. This is going really well. Oh. Apparently Tetris had enough. Or this is the <laughs> King of Red Lions. You big dummy! Change your perspective. I was working on it! Okay, thanks, game. <laughs> Link has clearly had enough of me being an idiot. We're gonna want to get the Goma stuck. Like this. We want it to implant... Get its stupid claw stuck. Wait. Ah, okay. I need to act a little bit quicker. Here we go. Let's try again. Nope. <laughs> Oof. This is going very poorly. I can like see it, I'm just not able to press the button in time. Okay, that didn't work either. Viewers, this is a pro version of this fight in case you haven't noticed. I'm just showing you what not to do, of course. Yeah, this camera angle is killing me. Ugh. That's brutal. I'm like inches away from being able to hit it and then it's just not letting me have it. I would like that though. Whoop. A little bit of health refill. Just burn through it as fast as you can. I'm starting to get a little annoyed here. A little annoyed with your rude self. It's like trying to get me to like Z target. I'm not trying to do that. Come on, Link. Get in there, buddy. Oof. 
you ever done something that you feel like you're doing the right thing and then you're clearly not doing the right thing? There you go. Mmm! Oops. Okay. Just gonna burn through our fairy right away in the middle of the fight. There we go, viewers. Blue's like, excuse me? All right, so let's uh swing our way out of trouble here. If you haven't noticed, this is clearly what you're intended to do, but I couldn't figure it out because I'm being an idiot. Nope, that is not it. I believe that's kind of more of what it intends for you to do. Ooh, he's mad. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> this is the one downside of the Pro Controller, apparently, is that I am uh, struggling with it letting me do this. All right, here we go. Let's get two tail grabs in a row. You're not actually supposed to do damage to the Goma, as you can tell. There's no real recourse for that. It's just... Yeah, this is the dynamic that they wanted you to do. I'm just an idiot. Let's get that heart. Let's go to safety here. Whoa! Hello! He puts it back. He's like, um, excuse me, that's the roof of my house. And I don't know if you can just do it from here, maybe? I think this might be the coup de gras here. Might be able to just beat him off right now. This looks pretty... Telling here. Third time's the charm? Is that it? Okay, so I think that that just meant that, uh... She's vulnerable now. Oop! Okay. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Her eyeball is... Ready for smackings? I don't know if there's a better way to do this, if there's a better item for this, but all I have right now is the grappling hook and my sword, so. Did that work? Did I do it? Wow. It only took me uh, twice as long as it probably should have. Honestly, though, that was a um, pretty clear example of speedrunning strat. So, we feel pretty good about that. Okay, we net ourselves a heart container. The sacred spaghettios have solidified. And I believe that our friend Valu is no longer in pain. Okay, hooray, we did it. And this of course, make sure you get everything you need before you take the warp out of the dungeon. And this will take us back to Dragon Roost. There's our boy hanging out, just having a good heckin' time. My beehole feels so much better. That's what he's been saying, actually. Medley's like, guys, his butthole's fine. So the swirling fart clouds of doom, they have settled down. I feel like Valu's sound design had to be like elephant based it sounds very elephanty and there we go doing the spin rooney back to the beginning link oh there you are finally willing to share your balls thank you don't you have something to say that's right she, she was on our side the entire time thanks medley very cool Maybe you could uh, give us some of that treasure. Yeah, the duck beak and then like the mouth is very strange to me. It's like Uncanny Valley should not be there. But anyway, this is one of the three artifacts that we need. And Kamali is 
Nice enough to give it to us after proving our bravery. Link as courageous as ever. This is Den's Pearl. So we will take the treasure of the Rito in exchange for them being able to fly. Thanks, guys. I'm sure he is. Classic Falu always saying things. Use the wind god's wind? What? What could that mean? Who knows? Is that what that means? What do you think? Viewers, is it possible that those things are connected? I don't know. I imagine going to that wind shrine is probably going to be the first thing that we should do. You go do that, buddy. Get your get your wings. Fly true, Kamali. Okay. I like that she has like a little tunic that has Din's marking on it. Okay. So now that we are back in control of this situation, we're going to go visit the Wind Shrine here on Dragon Roost. As we were told to do by Valu. And call upon our Wind God friend Zephos again. And see if he's got any suggestions for us. Nope. Okay, here we go. Take two. Oh, thank goodness. I was actually a little nervous that I wasn't going to be able to <laughs> be able to do that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, is this not something I was supposed to do? Uh, is this where it, where it wants me to go? Oh, I thought I was going to be... Okay, maybe this isn't because we already did this. Uh, never mind. I thought that that's all right. I feel lied to. <sighs> Game. You tell me one thing and then you. Uh, I'm peeved. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do if you haven't done it already. But since we did it beforehand, you know. Anyway, we'll talk to the King of Red Lines. Maybe he can straighten us out. Pearl sleeps. We sailed to the south, he says. Okay, okay, relax. Can you allow me on board, please? Hello. <laughs> what is happening? All right. You know what? He did say sail to the south, and I imagine the game is probably going to force us to do that, so... Let's get it popping. To the south we go! Eventually! Alright. Happy now? There we go! Okay. Very cool. I would like to set sail now, please. Alright, we're heading... which way is south? <laughs> Which way is south? I don't know. Hold on, let's check our map. Why not? So we want to go this way. Okay, so we are heading, we are sailing correctly. Who is talking to us? Whoa, hello! Who are you? Okay. Well, yeah, that's what it's for. Um, rude. I got 99 problems and a C chart ain't one. Okay, okay, okay. Pushy, pushy. It's gonna give us a little bit of extra information about our C chart. Okay, so basically just, you know, giving us that, that's nice, I guess. Yeah, well, you know, we don't have one of Valu's scales, but we do have their legendary items, so take that. Uh, 
great. So this is what the bait is for. One of the things besides luring rats in, which is kind of gross. Yes, don't worry, I've been doing my due diligence. Okay, thanks. Alright, so one of the things that I was considering doing, though, is you can't head directly south to where you're going to be doing that. But, there is some value in actually going to Windfall Island, which is this way, right? Yup. So I'm going to get out my Wind Waker. I'm gonna have it go this way? Was that the way I was heading? East? I th wait, is that, what it, is that what I wanted? Or I wanted it west. The exact opposite! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so stupid. Alright. Leave it to me, viewers! We're actually gonna go here briefly. Um, this should speed us up a little bit. Heading back to Windfall, just for a moment. We're gonna pick up a song. Actually, and uh, doing so will allow us to make this game a little bit easier. So, don't worry, it's worth it. Collect some rupees along the way if you haven't, you're gonna want them for what we're going to be doing. This will all be understandable in due time, I promise. There's a lot of little optional things that you can do here before you progress the story. These are, once again, not requirements. You don't have to do this. But it seems like a nice thing to do. Also, there's one of those fish. Should we go say hello, perhaps? Go talk to this boy. Hello. All right. It's got spring around town. Where are you? All right. This guy was here. Zoop. Go into our items really quick, and we're gonna get out our bait bag here. Get some of our bait. All purpose. And a boop. Here, fishy fishy! Might as well grab this on the way. Hoi! How about it? So this is just completing the sea charts. He's gonna give us more information. You can do this about pretty much every one of the little islands. This is the one that we went to at the beginning before heading to Dragon Roost. I do, actually. Oh, that's cute. Choo choo. I'm aware of that. But, like I mentioned before, there is a potion brewer. Oh, this guy's greedy. Alright, so let's head back to Windfall as quickly as we can. I'm going to try to accomplish something before the end of this episode. I'm going to try to accomplish this quickly. I'm probably going to do a little bit of what I want to do and then I'll start the next episode with what really matters, the real prize that you get from going back to Windfall Island. Something that's going to make our adventure way less annoying. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Head to the dock. I love a nice big dock. Whoop. Okay. Okay, can I get the heck out of here? Nope. <laughs> well, that's the animation you see when you're trying to do the, um... When you have the grappling hook. This is what we're going to be using eventually to grab certain items. Can I get the heck off of you? No, stop it. There we go. Alright. So, a couple things. I guess I'll only really have time to do this. One of which is we're going to check the mailbox here, see if there's anything for us. Goody! 
evening. I don't have anything for a delivery. I would like to take something. Uh, maybe not? I thought we... Oh, maybe this is something you can only do during the day. Speaking of, it being nighttime, we need to fix that. So up here is this very flamboyant, eccentric-looking fellow. We'll talk to him real quick and see if maybe he wants to share some tunes with us. Terrifying. Looks like he's got a Breathe Right strip on his nose. A little bit of congestion, perhaps. This is Tot. He's the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire, of course. The magic dance. Ooh, I don't know if I like what that sounds like. Who showed you this magic dance? Did you consent to that? Okay, so... Now that we have talked to this guy... Let's go ahead and... Is there a hint on here? I don't remember. Is there something on the back? Uh, let's just use the Wind Waker and see what happens. No? <laughs> Okay, great. Is it? I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Okay. This song of passing. It sounds like something referring to dying, but it's just referring to the passing of time. Great. No? Seems like we're gonna probably have to actually do it. So this is actually convenient, being able to change the time of day. We're gonna be needing to do this a handful of times in the future. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Right, left, and down. Go ahead and make it daytime. A nice little circle wipe gets you out of the night. Okay, ta-da! All right, this is what I was trying to show. Apparently this only happens during the daytime. There's a letter for Link. Hopefully it's from Tom Nook. It's the furniture we ordered. Kind of spits on us. To my son, Superior. Thank you very much for looking after my boy. This isn't much, but I hope you'll accept it all the same. I politely request your continued kindness toward my son. Kashiko is the mother of the guy who was working at the letter shop. And in doing this, you get a piece of heart. So, it's a nice little treat. And then, the next time that we do some stuff, we're going to try the Picto Box quest one more time. And then we're going to be doing a little bit of gambling. In the sense of a silent auction that's not so silent. But that will have to happen next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, and I'll catch you next time for more. Bye!